this video we'll cover how to edit an alignment. An alignment can be edited through grips or it can be edited through alignment geometry editor. We'll start with the first option of editing an alignment through grips. Click on the alignment and you'll see different grips. See circle grips, you'll see arrow grips. For example, I can I can pick on that end grip and change the course of this alignment to that. I can pick on this grip and move the widening. I can increase this or I can change that radius. I can move that so these grips can allow me to edit the alignment. Another way of editing the alignment is going to geometry editor. And here there are various alignment tools available for us to edit this alignment. We can uh, add PVIs, PIs I mean, point of intersections. We can remove the PIs, we can add curves, we can uh, edit the various segments of this alignment through sub-entity editor. For example, let me just do the insert PI. I can insert a PI over here and I change the course of that alignment. Okay. And if I want to remove that PI again, I can just click on this. And remove the PI and I edit back to the original state. I can also view this on alignment grid and there is your alignment grid. I can change the radius of these curves from here. For example, I can change that curve as you can see, the radius has increased. I can take it back to something smaller. I can change this. And the alignment automatically updates. Also, I can use this sub-entity editor. And if I click on a sub-entity, for example, a segment, a line segment, I can pick a sub-entity from here. And here, I have various parameters that I can change. Let me pick this curve. For example, the degree of curvature, the radius, all these are editable. You can change that. You can see it updates. All right? And therefore, we can edit the alignment through those two methods.